Oh, they gave him that Andre 3000 time. That's that forever, ever, forever, forever. <laughs> they gave this nigga a millennium. God damn it. That's <laughs> shit. That's just proof positive. You just gotta learn how to act in court. I done shot two people. I ain't been in jail yet. Guess I just. <laughs> True story. <laughs> So give yourselves a round of applause. We survived the pandemic. Woo! That's a good thing. You know, ladies, now that we can take the mask off, some of y'all need to trim this shit up. Y'all look like Johnny Depp from the Pirates of the Caribbean, this bitch. <laughs> Just saying, fellas, now it's time to go to the dentist. The mask didn't come with a shit stain. That's you. I mean, that's, that's you. Okay? Just, just keeping it real. I think the pandemic was interesting for me because when the quarantine first happened, I was on the road. I was on the road with this fine ass chick. I had to quarantine with this fine. I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, fellas, you ever had some loving so good you had to call somebody and tell them about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. This quarantine love was so good, I called home like, son, let me talk to you for a minute. <laughs> you tired? Okay, cool. Put your mom on the phone. Put your mom on the phone. Somebody's gonna hear about this because this is... <laughs> <laughs> I got home, she did not social distance, she beat the shit out of me, but it was, it was worth it. <laughs> it was worth it. Anybody else had to homeschool their kids during the damn pandemic? Anybody else realize they don't really like their kids during this damn pandemic? It was just, I had to homeschool my son and shit. He came to me like, Dan, I need your help with this test. I said, homie, I got you one better. I'm going to take the test for you. Yeah, I got a 54% on this motherfucking test. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. Uh, <laughs> but in response, I grounded his ass for cheating. So it worked out. <laughs> it worked out great. My son was the most pissed about the homeschool shit because he was like, Dad, I was this close to fucking one of my teachers. I said, hey, it's a new generation. I'm not going to get shit you. I told him you can't fuck your teachers in homeschool other than Kentucky and Alabama, son. So just this side got that joke quick. Y'all get that. That's a joke grenade, black people. Y'all get that on the way home. <laughs> oh, yeah, that homeschool shit was crazy. And they still charged us taxes when the school wasn't open. This is some bullshit. Open up a community center. I'm dropping this little nigga off at the hospital. Something. Shit, I need him to go the fuck away from me. <laughs> Anybody else in here been vaccinated? Vaccinated people? Watch this. Uh, white people, y'all been vaccinated? <laughs> Let's just keep it 100. Y'all been vaccinated? I got vaccinated. I got vaccinated. Yeah, I did. Before I got vaccinated, I was a five foot eight white man. Uh. <laughs> Moral of the story is don't get vaccinated in jail. All right, that's kind of what <laughs> will be my two cents that I would give to y'all. <laughs> oh, shit. So something else that was kind of crazy about this pandemic shit, I'm going to tell y'all. This is this was the real fucked up part. <laughs> y'all ever had somebody that was stuck with you that you didn't like in this <laughs> that you wanted to kick out the house? Like you stuck in the house with a mortal enemy and then you look up and now you motherfuckers like each other? It's amazing what marijuana will do with <laughs> I can put up with your ass if you got some weed. I can do this. I can do this. I'm going to tell y'all another reason why black folks didn't want to get vaccinated white people. Gather around. Let me show you. Okay. Are y'all familiar with something called a Tuskegee experiment? For those of you who don't know, in the 70s, the government went around injecting black people with syphilis. Didn't tell them, didn't test it or nothing. Right? So in that sense, you just look, walking down the street, you get a shot in your ass and you got syphilis. You don't know how un-American that is? That's not American. Because if you got syphilis, you should fucking earn it like everybody else, goddammit. <laughs> the point I'm making is I should at least get a dirty blowjob in the alley for the syphilis. Don't just give me a fucking shot. Let me earn it like everybody else. I don't know how else you get syphilis. I think when you do cocaine out of a baby diaper or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. We also uh, survived the fucking Republicans. Give ourselves a round of applause for that shit. <laughs> Trying to put uh, Herschel dumbass Walker in. Now, this motherfucker, I don't get this. Ah, damn. Where did y'all find the dumbest motherfucker out? I bet you he still thinks slavery going on. I bet you he's like, look, look, boss. <laughs> now, here's my question. 
How you gonna be a thug and you stutter? Uh, you know, to, 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 to scare me, you know, fuck. <laughs> Can't be a stuttering thug, Herschel. Oh shit, talking about this erections for America. Yeah, we was gonna get fucked if y'all put that nigga in office. It was over. Uh, it was over. And we survived a Democrat, Sleepy Joe, dumbass. Sleepy Joe, shit, he fall asleep in some pussy. Like, oh. I don't know if that's a fall asleep in pussy look, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we survived. I'm gonna tell y'all this. And the other good thing that we survived, well, I'll tell y'all this. Y'all know what didn't survive the pandemic? The dating scene. Good Lord. <laughs> hey, this shit's crazy. I'm gonna tell y'all how bad the dating scene got. We got single folks here. Round of applause if you're single. And y'all know what I'm talking about, right? I had a chick come to me one time and said, Big Daddy, I wanted to go horseback riding. <laughs> hey, bitch, am I riding the clouds there? What the fuck am I getting on in this in this one? I mean, we go up to the horse, the horse backed up. I'm like, shit, I think he called me a nigger in there. I do, I think. <laughs> I bust my ass four times trying to get on this motherfucking horse. You know what I'm saying? I walk up to the horse, the horse looking at me, I'm looking at him, he's looking at me, I'm looking at